All right. Well, as always, don't forget you can follow us on the social medias, Twitter, Moncton Wildcast, Instagram, Wildcast Podcast, TikTok, Wildcast Podcast. And of course, don't forget, as you're watching here, click the uh, like, smash the subscribe, and click the little bell so you don't miss any of our podcast post games. We got no voice question this week. Um, so this one comes in from Paul Richard on Instagram. Uh, he wants to know in the playoffs if there's going to be any upsets, and if there are, mm. what do we think they will be? So based on the standings right now, uh, in the West, you've got Drummondville against Quebec, I will say. Um, Ren Rand against Schwinnigan, Victoriaville, Blaineville, or Victoria. Ah, Gatineau, that's what it is. Hold on. All right, there we go. Drummondville versus Quebec, Ren versus Gatineau, Victoriaville versus Schwinnigan, and Sherbrooke, Blaineville. Um, in the West, I don't see any upsets. I think it's pretty clear as day. Yeah. Uh, that uh, the four higher seeded teams will uh, will advance to the second round. I will go with the standard five over four upset, Blaineville over Sherbrooke. I think that one has the potential to be the upset of of the Western Conference. Gatineau's playing really well. Um, Victoriaville, they're going to beat whoever. Like I know it's Chewinigan and Gatineau are six and seven, so either one of those teams could play Victoriaville. I don't think you're going to see a. No. Upset there, no, not at and all. I know Surge does Surge things in the playoffs, and he's like we talked about with uh, Yannick Jean. He's one of those veteran coaches that can mean Jean work a game into his favor with home ice. But I just I don't think Gatineau's got it in them. No, um, especially if they play Ren around it. But I think Blainville has the ability to to be that uh, upset there. Um, and then in the Eastern Conference, you got Bay Como against Charlottetown, uh, Halifax, Bathurst. Moncton, Cape Breton, and Ramuski, Shakutami, and again, Shakutami and Cape Breton and Ramuski are all kind of jockeying for a four, five, and six position. So mm-hmm. whoever um, plays Shakutami is effed. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. screwed. Whoever plays Shakutami yeah. is, is is screwed. Just just book your tea times. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh I and I uh probably get some heat for this, but uh, I think it's Bathurst if they play Halifax. Mm-hmm. They well, have had their number this season. There's a pretty, pretty good chance it's Halifax. They've had their number this season, and just yeah. there's something with Halifax that's not right. We'll get into it in a little bit in the news. Uh, but I think that's a, that's a situation where that's maybe why you want to stay at the three seed, because if, if Halifax does get upset, um, we would take on – oh, crap, we'd take on Shakutami if they got past whoever. But we get that more favorable matchup mm-hmm. um, in that second round, and it wouldn't be Halifax this time. So, yeah, so we, we can, you're going to me and I'm going Bathurst, I guess. Yep. Those are the only two I can, I can see. I mean. Yeah, we got two weeks. I also think, you know, if Moncton plays Cape Breton, there could be a bit of a upset there as well, if you want to put it that way. I would, uh, yeah. So I think um, if Moncton wants to make it out of the first round, I think maybe Marmuski is your best bet, but. I'm not sure if that's – well, I know it's mathematically <laughs> possible, but yeah. uh, it's uh, – believe it or not, I think that might be their their best matchup. Yeah, I think if it's Moncton, Cape Breton, um, I think the upset there is if Moncton upsets themselves. Yeah. I think if, if they play the way they can where they own the game and they, they play smart, I think they're okay. If they get into penalty trouble and too much passing and not enough – D, and the D zone goes to shit. Th- then obviously um, it's going to be a short playoff, uh, short playoff spring there. So, uh, and again, a few of these matchups can change. I know, like I said, Shawinigan and Gatineau is pretty much the only one in the uh, Western Conference. Is they're both at fifty six points. Blaineville at sixty two. They could catch them theoretically, um, and we don't have the schedules in front of us either. And then Moncton's only got a four point advantage on Vermuski, uh, so they got to keep winning with a tough schedule coming up, which we'll talk about. In a little bit, but you've got Shakutami, Cape Breton, and Ramuski all jang it up. So I don't think those are actually going to be the matchups. It'll be a, no, very, there's, it'll be a very good two weeks. Yeah, there's going to be some wiggle room. There's going to be some moving and grooving. Follow us on social media at Moncton Wildcast.